everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson and you are watching RPV City Talk on the road. Right now I am at City Hall with the exciting announcement that the city has launched a pilot shuttle service program. I'm right here at the shuttle stop that starts at City Hall. We have our rec and parks department director Corey Linder standing by with all the shuttle service details. Hi, my name is Corey Linder and I'm the director of recreation and parks for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Uh, I'd like to welcome the public to our new shuttle stop here at City Hall. Uh, it's just one more service that we'd like to provide in order to provide ample parking, but also get people to other areas of the preserve. The goal of this pilot program is to ultimately be a part of several other elements to decrease the congestion and traffic up at the Del Cerro area. Um, the Del Cerro area and the Burma Trail has become the default front door for the preserve and uh, unfortunately that's off a residential street and uh, it just gets overcrowded and so what we're trying to do is uh, offer a service that will provide people an area to come down visit this this too city hall is also in the preserve so they can start here uh, there's um, amenities here uh, plenty of parking and now we provide a shuttle that will take you down to point vicente interpretive center it will take you over to Abalone Cove, and it will take you over to Lower Portuguese Bend, uh, formerly known as Gateway, and then back, uh, back up here to City Hall. So for those that uh, we're, we're talking to folks up in Del Cerro area, letting them know that, uh, well, you're, you're here. Why don't you come on down over here and uh, not have to worry so much about parking. We'll take you to the same trail. It'll just be backwards. Uh, it'll be going up. Uh, in your first leg and then coming back down uh, to the shuttle stop as opposed to starting at the top, heading down, traipsing back up and then going, going to your car. Hi, welcome to Gateway. This is spot number four of the shuttle stops. This is Lower Portuguese Bend. My name is Stephanie Valencia. I'm with Recreation and Park and this is a great way to spend your weekend. For the people driving by or walking by, this is our special event tra trailer. You're welcome to come in and say hello. Uh, we always have friendly staff here to say hello um, to you. If you have any questions or concerns, we can provide knowledge about our trails and our parks. Um, so come on over and say hi. We meet you here at Lower Portuguese Bend, uh, the preserve area. There's now a new shuttle service. Your thoughts when you just learned about what we're offering here in our city? Uh, we love it, especially because you can take a dog on board, which makes everything a lot easier. So it's great to be able to hit a bunch of different spots all at once. and. Yeah, definitely. If we can avoid any sort of congestion in terms of parking and yeah, having it be dog friendly, that's great. On this free shuttle, um, you can bring dogs. Um, like just remember about uh, make sure they're, they're in your control. Make sure that they have a six foot leash. And, and again, uh, depending on how many people we have on there with dogs, uh, uh, we'll have to make sure we'll kind of make that call as far as uh, comfort, comfortability for the driver. Uh, that's what it's going to be all about. Um, but also bicycles. If you also plan to want to do some mountain biking down in another area, uh, the shuttles both have bike racks on them as well. Hi, my name's Dana Torrey. I work for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Today I'm working here at this kiosk. We've got a new program going on with buses that will bring you to four beautiful destinations along the coastline. This is a fun family adventure and you get to see a lot of Rancho Palos Verdes on a on what essentially is a guided tour because you'll be dropped off at each of the great destinations. We hope from Parks and Rec that you join us on the weekends that we have this program going. Looking forward to seeing all of you soon. When you start here, uh, we'll have uh, the shuttles ready to go. This will be on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Um, when you do get to the City Hall or uh, uh, the Civic Center area, uh, there are amenities here. There's a dog park, tennis, plenty of trails. Um, as you can see, just find one of our kiosks and you can find uh, uh, how the shuttle works, what times the, it works, and uh, also the trails for this particular section and how it fits into the bigger preserve. Um, from here, the shuttle goes down Hawthorne and makes a left on PV Drive South. And the next stop is going to be the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. And from there, uh, the amenities include a museum, which is now open. Um, the uh, uh, the, the site itself has plenty of trails, picnic areas, and uh, just great viewing of the ocean. Um, there, there you might confront or you might be able to uh, talk a little bit with the uh, whale watchers there, the whale counters. 
Uh, so there's plenty to do down at PVIC. Also, between here and PVIC is a, a place that be a real small walk to go get some uh, a lunch or what have you over at Golden Cove. From PVIC, uh, we head down PV Drive South to Abalone Cove. And actually, our shuttle stop does not go directly into Abalone Cove Park, but it right before it, it'll stop at the uh, normal PV Transit uh, stop which is uh, in between the fire station and Abalone Cove, uh, if you're aware of those. Uh, there is signage, uh, but from there, it's a small walk into uh, Abalone Cove, where, you, again, you have picnic areas. You have a, uh, a hiking trails that go down to the beach, uh, where you'll find great beach uh, property to just hang out. Or there's the tide pools and a lot of geologic features down there uh, to observe. Um, heading back up. Uh, again, using the shuttle stops, uh, we, we head back down PV Drive South and to an area called, uh, it's actually Lower Portuguese Bend uh, Preserve, and it's formerly known as Gateway Area, so you might hear that from the locals. But uh, when we turn around uh, in, into that Gateway Area, um, there again, you're at the bottom of the Lower Portuguese Bend where your trail is up. And the trails going up are, are basically the ones that everybody is used to coming down. Uh, so again, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of benefit in uh, starting your hike going up and then uh, working your way back down, uh, given your, uh, uh, your stamina and your uh, physical level. Um, but from Portuguese Bend, uh, there are amenities over there. Again, look for one of our kiosks. Uh, right now, we have some staff down there to assist for any questions. And um, there's, there's a porta potty as well. Um, you can hop back on down at uh, the Lower Portuguese Bend area, and it comes directly back up to City Hall. Hours are roughly, we'll start out of uh, City Hall at around 8 o'clock in the morning on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. Um, they, the, a typical loop will take about a half an hour. Um, we do have two shuttles, and so uh, while one is here staged, ready to go, there's one en route. Uh, so as soon as the other one pulls up, then this shuttle takes off. The, uh, the last time we're, we're stating it's about at five. So get to your shuttle stop wherever you want to be to get back up to City Hall at around five. Um, we will continue to run till probably about, about 5.30 or, or beyond if needed just to pick up any stragglers that may have got caught out on the trail. A couple of riders yesterday from what I understand from staff, uh, well we had one with a couple dogs. Uh, who wanted to try it all out and see what it was about, uh, but he said it was one of the one of the best things that he's had seen come out of the city in quite a while. Um, we've had a couple other riders that were just uh, curious and wanted to start start here and take the tour of PV Drive South without having, without having to worry about parking. So uh, it'll be a mixed. It's going to be a great pilot program, and I think uh, it's going to be one of those cases where we'll, we'll evaluate it. We, we, we are going to kind of interview or survey the, the, the users that are on uh, the, the shuttles uh, just to see where they're coming from, to see, in, uh, uh, to see in what they like, where they usually park, uh, just to give us some more raw data so we can um, make better decisions in the future. The pilot is three months. However, we do have a, uh, an agreement with PV Transit to run a full year uh, as well as funding, um, but we're going to we're going to reassess at the end of three months and see if this is something that the council wants to continue. The relationship with PV Transit has been great. Uh, they've been very cooperative. Uh, they're going above and beyond. Um, how we uh, uh, entered into this, because I believe uh, 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 Mayor Pro Tem Bradley sits on their board. And so uh, the funding is actually comes from LA County Metro uh, through Prop, Prop A. And so that's a mixture, uh, that's an allocation that the city gets based on population and tax. So. Uh, with that, the city council can then recommend how we reallocate that uh, if it's a program that falls within their parameters. And this one does. So the uh, amount is $80,000 for a year of service, uh, but $20,000 will be for the uh, this first three-month pilot project. Well, each each shuttle has uh, 24 seats, um, but during because of COVID, they're running at 50% capacity. So we're looking at 12, 12 spots, and uh, if we do have a... Uh, a staffer or somebody else on there, then obviously 11. Um, but we'll accommodate as best we can. And with the two shuttles and PV Transit has been great and having uh, two out here available to us, that uh, we should be able to accommodate everybody within a relatively good time. We have a, a gem of 1,400 acres here of, 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 of preserve. Um, 
again, I think I, what I just want the, 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 the real point to, make, to be made here is that, again, we're not trying to invite everybody up here. We just really want to uh, redistribute the load and the, the users that are already coming up here. Uh, for example, our rangers and parking enforcement up in Del Cerro area right now um, are, are making contacts with the public. The public is already coming to Del Cerro, and so, but they're just making them aware that, hey, here's another opportunity, because some folks will park a mile and a half away from the trailhead up there just to hike. And so uh, just making them aware that, hey, we could take you to the same spot. There are a lot of trail opportunities up here, but as you know, in the past, there wasn't a whole lot of information. So we've provided wayfinding uh, signs. Uh, we've provided kind of an area that as soon as you come down the driveway, you can see it. And uh, once you have a kiosk up here, it's just like, okay, that's got to have some information. Uh, even from here, you're looking at trails that lead down this way. You're also looking at trails across. Again, you can see smaller signs and another kiosk over there that will lead you to the trails. Um, in this particular kiosk, we have a, an aerial with all the trail maps of this particular uh, preserve. The motto on the shuttle is have a nice day. This really is a nice service provided to our community. You can find out more details about the shuttle service by logging onto the city website at rpvca.gov. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Thanks for watching RPV City Talk on the road. Now I'm going to go climb aboard and take a hike. Thanks for watching.